leaving Starfield because it's trash, obviously. Leaving No Man's Sky because why exactly now? The combat in this game is extremely mid. It's not easy. Oh. I think the combat is just genuinely... I mean, don't get me wrong. Better than Starfield combat, but obviously. I mean, Starfield combat was complete dog shit. Genuinely, combat in this game is extremely. It could be. It could be way better. I mean, my favorite thing about this game is the crafting and the farming and stuff. I mean, I'll be honest. I was really hoping for um, some big ass bosses. Like, it's something I could fight that big worm. You know. Unfortunately, it feels like I'm hitting like the depth of combat in this game. It feels like I've hit the maximum depth. Like little alien dudes, they come after you. Little sentinels, they come after you, and then they scale up. And then ship battles, where it's kind of like the same battle. Um, which to me is losing my interest. In massively unfortunately i was really hoping for bosses because what's the point of grinding if i've got nothing to own you know because that that's that's usually what that's what gets me going in a survival game right i farm up to yeah makes honestly a lot of sense i completely agree with this if if farming feels good it's gonna you know take up your time but if what's the point of farming if there's no end game too farming to beat whatever the thing is that i want to beat right i had to survive to get the stuff to beat that thing the reason i play Valheim and the reason i like to get all the badass materials and make a big base is so i can gear up and fight a boss right it's like yeah. you like you know get the armor get the potions get the that's why what's the vampire game called where you wake up as a vampire and then you build your base that one is popular because exactly that people like make, uh, making their base Getting upgrades, even if they're super linear, linear, as long as it's done well, people are gonna love it. And, you know, V for Vendetta, no, that's a movie name. Uh, v something, Vampire V, I don't know. You, you probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, people love progression, farming stuff, then beating a boss, then farming new stuff. Uh, uh, Terraria is literally based on that. Minecraft is even technically kind of based on that. Buffs, get the food, get all the GG stuff, and then I can use it. But if there's nothing to use it against, like, what am I doing? And which is what, which is what's happening to me right now. I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, what am I doing if I'm, this is it? I think at some point they'd prob- well, may, there's a chance that he hasn't found, you know, just, just the boss if there exists one. I don't honestly know. But, well- I think No Man's Sky is probably going to add, like, super big galactic bosses or something like that at some point, right? Because they're continuing updates. Like, yeah, okay, I could get a bit of gun so I can kill these Sentinel guys faster. I was really enjoying the progression. It just sucks that the progression ends, I guess, is what I'm saying. And I'm not saying it's bad. This, dude, there's progression games where you progress and you do all the stuff, and there's no combat, and it's purely just for, like, you know, making a sick-looking base and... Pimping your guy out, whatever, dude. Man, I love this game. It's giga immersive. I love the flying. I love going to the planets. I like doing all the shit. But then I feel a lack of purpose. It kind of happened whenever I looked at the difficulty options. I looked at the difficulty Yeah, you you need like a strip club in the center of the galaxy or something like that, so people feel feel a need to go there, and people know what they want at the end of the day. Day, and that's Twilix. Give me Twilix now. I want them. All the options, and I got, and it was kind of like despair. Actually, I, I looked at them and I was like, "Wait a minute!" It just says like all the things that I've already encountered. Now nah, it looks like there are a couple extra mob types, but they all just look like little, a couple extra mobs. I think the, the game needs bosses. I'm gonna be honest. I think it needs Probably. an early game boss, a mid game boss, and a late game boss. I feel like at this point in the game, Multiple. when I'm at 30 hours in, I'm expecting something, right? I tried zerging the main quest, and it's fucking tutorial bro i mean i love so many things about this game I, I love the multiplayer aspect of this game even it's so it's so awesome the fact that you know all these places actually exist like you can go to my planet and you can see my base and you can come to you can come to the fucking uh you know the d4 bad system and you can make a place on wong and you know um oh, i mean it's yeah, so yeah. cool i feel like this would be like the basis of one of the best games to ever be created if a game like this was to be perfected if it had like really good exciting fun pvp really good exciting combat fucking awesome end game i, I feel like a, this game but perfected would be crazy kind of like how it is right now like massively multiplayer i mean add bosses again add the strip club with twilix and there you go just start polishing because you know this game does need a lot of polish honestly with it with its graphics how some uh, some animations look and whatnot but other than that man there's not a lot this game is missing honestly to be super super good
player online like it's an mmo except it's like infinite space there's big fucking wars huge clans cities there's actual ship pvp all sorts of crazy shit so like, not like starfield no not like starfield starfield's complete dog shit i meant like this game except mastered so what i do is this is i just leave no man's sky and i just come back whenever they do in game they do some combat reworks and stuff they put in some proper joystick support you know they put in joystick support hey put in some proper joystick support and then they put in some in game and when yeah. in game i just mean it early game boss and mid game boss a late game boss that's it yeah quinn's on his way to terraria now probably at this point it's like okay starfield failed me no man's sky has no in game terraria Probably Terraria. No, wait, I think he... No, wait, he played it. He was dog shit at it, but he played it, I think. Like, a boss 15 hours into the game, a boss 40 hours into the game, or whatever. I don't know, You could, they decide, wherever. And then, like, the final boss. They're a great example of a story, like, of the ultimate redemption arc, right? And it's, and, and the story hasn't come to an end. It's still going, right? They're still actively patching the game and making it even more sick. <laughs> still the cuck shit to play. Cool. And they could make this game, w I mean, nice. way more sick than it currently is. Absolutely. 100%. This game could go way harder. The reality is, if there was an infinite universe, right, there would be worlds and there would be great monstrosities and crazy shit and there would be all out war. Like, and look at the Well, that's what I said previously. It'd be like ant colonies. A bunch of people that take huge entire galaxies embroiled in war and conflict and all this shit and that'd be like crazy tech big ass death stars and shit and I, a death star boss there you go i've just come up like it's i mean it's possible i think it's possible for no man's sky i really think it is that's the best part about it i think things like that are possible in the future most likely hey is it only dangerous that had that thing when you're fast traveling there's a chance that aliens suck you up and it's like oh Wait, I'm not in space anymore. Where am I? And it's like some kind of giant thing is in front of you and you're like, oh, oh my, this is not good. And then then it maybe it kills you, maybe it doesn't. And there was some game that did that and that was super cool when I saw it. It's the ultimate sentinel boss. It's the sentinel mainframe. It's a huge giga brain, you know, built around a black hole. There a you go, master dude. Mold. Absolutely, they want that. The whole point of a game like this is that the fact that you could kind of do anything. Like, I feel like um, that's what they're going for, right? We had a good run here with No Man's Sky. I'm going to come back and revisit this game. Oh, shit, no! Do not, I don't want to die! Well, I'm going I'm to use my... Does my jetpack come back? My jetpack doesn't come back! Let's give it a... I didn't even die. The game is like great <laughs> for people who like 34 hours in No Man's Sky. Wow, that's a lot. That's twice as much as I have in Starfield and I want to vomit. Exploration, crafting, building pretty things, making your guy OP just because you can and don't care for like the pinnacle events or whatever, then the game's great. That's missing nothing. It's, well, I mean, I'm sure they can make it better in other ways, but whatever. It's it's got it's really full bodied. It's just for me. There's a chunk missing. That's what which which is which is like uh, ultimately. I was motivated, 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 and then I came to the realization that I'm not motivated anymore. And I was like, well, what am I doing? I was she. Well, uh, yeah, and he came to the realization he's not motivated anymore because he didn't have a goal. You need goals in games. Or, you know, you need a, a game that at least, you know, gives you something that looks like a goal, even if it's just for a second, aka Fallout Exploration. I might as well just wait and come back, revisit the game later. I need unattainable goals, dude. I need unattainable goals, exactly. No, but I think the game's great. I think it's cool, and I think it's a, it's a great success story, and it just shows you what you can do with time and love. I mean, bro. I was nice. dreaming That's about exploring nice. planets and shit. This game had me dreaming about exploring planets. Like, the, 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 the ability to hop in a ship, leave the atmosphere, pick a random galaxy, go there, and see a planet, and be like, that looks cool, I'm going there, and then go down, and you go there. And you're like, well, what the fuck's all this? And there's all these crazy aliens and all these weird plant life. Hey, a good game's a good game. What can I say? Like, all the, all the, all the fauna and flora, it's trippy as fuck. Now, that, that kind of, like, uh, I don't know what you want to call that. That honeymoon period does wear off after a while, though. Which was it was no, starting to wear off me, you know, whatever, at the 20-something hour mark. I, I, I mean, that's good, though. The honeymoon period for Starfield started wearing uh, off on me in the first, well, 
first two minutes when the elevator lo- ride was p- t- 10 times longer than it should have been. But initially, it's crazy. That, I, I don't think I've had a game quite feel like that. The closest thing I could describe to that would be like playing Valheim and, uh, you know, exploring new biomes on a boat. That'd be like, yeah. Except what Ooh. Valheim has that this game doesn't that kids me playing Space. Valheim for like a fuck ton of time was, I mean, you know what it is, chat. You know what it is. Bosses, dude. And and on top of that, the combat's... I mean, by the way, you don't exactly need even bosses. You need like something to do, something to change. For example, you would not need even bosses in a, in a game like uh, Starfield. If you had like, for example, outposts that you can take over and like govern or something like that. Then the game wouldn't even honestly need bosses because there you go. This is an end game activity. This is what you do. You can create your own empire. But again, it is a goal. The bosses can be a goal. Some kind of uh, government can be a goal. Controlling the galaxy obviously should be like a possibility of a goal, honestly. Stop. No Man's Sky could actually use it, uh, use the server reset uh, on Rust. You know, that you, you, there is some kind of win condition in the multiplayer game and then everything starts over. That could, that could be pretty good. And there could be servers like nothing starts over, everything starts over, everything starts over in a year. You know, things like that. That could be cool better and on top of that the combat's more difficult that's that's the reality and to which which is like an important factor for me and on top of that i think i i probably do prefer fantasy a bit over sci-fi a little bit i prefer fantasy over sci-fi like a, a sword is cooler than yeah, a laser the, well, it depends. Like a bow and arrow is cooler than a laser gun i wish the valheim devs were putting out as many patches as the fucking no man's sky devs i'm a stealth player i'm always gonna try and snipe you from a distance so for me it doesn't matter that much honestly I, I would I kind of prefer guns I would have to say because you know uh, a, a big ass sniper rifle that just one shots someone and they no one has any idea what happened. Now that's that's good still gameplay. Hey, regardless, boys, we had a good fucking run. No Man's Sky was poggies all around. Obviously, it kind of had a weird. I was I was hoping to like you know I was kind of thinking like oh, I'll do the main story and j- j- just you know whatever beat the boss and then the mo- j- j- the story as I went through it was just a tutorial and uh, yeah maybe it maybe yeah because he is God. well that was that was Quinn the best Australian in in the world some say New Zealand but who cares about an Australian colony anyway. That's pretty much it. This was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.